what an incredible episode with Doc Steve Small. I have wanted to get Doc Steve on for a while now after listening to him on some other podcasts talking about frequency healing. And I really believe this is where the future of healing lies. Well, we are electrical beings. And there is a huge paradigm shift in realizing that treating us with pharmaceuticals and chemicals isn't necessarily the optimal way to stimulate self healing and instead suppresses symptoms. So it was amazing when Doc Steve agreed to come on. With over 46 years of practice in quantum integrative and functional medicine, Dr. Stephen Small is Ivy League educated and holds four doctoral degrees. He is frequently referred to as doctor to the stars in the media because of his high profile celebrity practice in Los Angeles, where he treats many A-lister members of the film, television, music and sports community. Prior to moving to LA in the 1980s, he he was the performance doctor to the Philadelphia Flyers NHL hockey team and ushered the team to the Stanley Cup Finals. He currently serves as the Dean of the International Medical University at Natural Education and lectures around the world. He is co-author of the recently released Amazon number one best-selling book, Wake Up, Miracles of Healing from Around the World, and is in private practice in, in LA where he specializes in quantum integrative medicine and as a time waiver practitioner. In 2019, Doc Steve joined the team at Healy World where he is currently vice president member. His life mission is to introduce frequency healing to the world by the revolutionary healing frequency device. And his motto is, self-care is the new health care. So listen in, I'm really excited for you all to hear what Doc Steve has to say. This was a fantastic episode. Thank you so much, Doc Steve, for coming on. I have been so excited to talk to you because I listened to you a while back on another uh, video that I think that went viral with Jessica Hesse on her frequency school, talking about frequency healing and your background. And I just thought I really, really would love to have you on and chat to you in more detail. So thank you so much for coming on. Well, it's my pleasure to be on, Lisa. Thank you for having me. Well, thank you. Can I can I get you to introduce yourself and tell you tell the listeners a little bit about your background because it's fascinating. I'd love to yeah to share sure, that with everyone. Absolutely. So I've act, I've been in practice for forty six years now, and I started out in the seventies primarily in the field of functional and nutritional medicine. I was also trained as a homeopath, and through the years things changed, and I've always been somebody that's been on the cutting edge. And so in the 90s, I moved into uh, anti-aging medicine and started getting involved in that. And then in the late 90s, I was introduced to what I call quantum integrative medicine, which is what I practice now, primarily working with frequency devices. And then, of course, recently, I've added the microcurrent to that, too. And that's been the way I've been practicing for all of these years. Excellent. So what? So what? is for people listening i think we could hear a lot about quantum healing or frequency medicine people that are listening might not know what that means are you able to explain about what that actually is in your in your view and your perspective and how you sure. integrate uh, it i always go back to the famous quote by nikola tesla which is if you want to understand the secrets of the universe think about frequency energy and vibration because ultimately when it comes down to it everything in the world operates on a specific frequency or for specific frequency band, everything from radio waves, television, cell phones, light, music, everything works with a unique frequency. And so to me, the universe uh, speaks the language of frequency. Everything relates to one another in that way. And with the whole concept of quantum physics, now that we are able to understand that, we realize that you know the body itself is composed of organs, which are cells, which are ultimately made of electrons and molecules and subatoms and subatomic particles. So in essence, we're not really solid in, in, in that state. We're more energy than we are solid. And it's all based on the, you know, the, the amount of energy that our bodies are vibrating at and the amount of frequency that we hold in our bodies. 
based on that. So that's what ties everything together these days with the whole concept of quantum physics and with energy and frequency. As a matter of fact, one of the roles that I feel that I play these days is to really introduce the, the new para, what I call the new paradigm shift in medicine. Because for the past 100 years, we've primar primarily focused on the whole concept of the fact that we are chemical or biochemical beings. And because of that, most of the way uh, people are treated on this planet is with pharmaceutical medications because to the whole concept of homeopathy, like treats like, if you have the concept of bodies biochemical, then of course, the first thing you do is you want to treat on that level of, of, of chemical. Whereas I know that the body is actually electrical. And so when you treat the body with electrical uh, frequencies, et cetera, then you're really totally treating like treats like. And you know the way I look at it is, you know, you have to go back in history. Because when you take a look at how uh, healthcare has been delivered to people on this planet, say in the last you know five thousand years or more, you realize that one of the oldest forms of medical treatment on the planet that's still being used today with very few changes is acupuncture. And ultimately, what is acupuncture? So the Chinese knew back then, five thousand years ago, that if they were to place needles along the meridian channels of the body, which are the energy channels of the body, they could stimulate those points and allow energy to flow through because what we find is that most disease and most pain is due to blocked energy. So it's all about unblocking that and working on that level. And then of course, in the 1700s, homeopathy came on the scene. And one of the reasons that traditional Western medicine doesn't accept homeopathy is because when they've analyzed a homeopathic remedy, they, they feel there's nothing inside that it's it's a placebo because they can't see any specific substance when they analyze it down. Whereas the fact is that's the reason homeopathy works because as we know with homeopathy, we're taking a specific natural substance, a plant, a mineral, et cetera, and we're using a dilution factor and a succussion. And when we do that dilution and succussion, we're actually creating an energetic imprint in that remedy. And so to me, you know, we have acupuncture, and then the next big, big change in medicine was when home homeopathy came on the scene. And now we're, because of high tech and computers, we've gotten to that point now where we can actually deliver frequencies directly into the body using these devices. And But ultimately, you have to go back to the fact that the body is energetic, and the body is not chemical. And what I find is that in Western medicine, the approach is always, you know, treating symptoms which ultimately creates chronic patients, it doesn't work. And the way I work in my practice, and, I, and I've always worked in my practice, is the fact that we're looking for what is the underlying cause. And you need to treat the underlying cause rather than the symptom, or else you ultimately treat a chronic patient, you create a chronic patient. Perfect example is patients coming into my office that have, for example, either high cholesterol or high blood sugar, and immediately they go to their a family doctor and they're put on either a statin drug for high cholesterol or metformin for high blood sugar. And they're told that they have to be on this medication for the rest of their life, ultimately creating a chronic, what I call a chronic patient. Whereas when they come to me, I look to find out what the underlying cause of that high cholesterol or that blood sugar issue is. And I treat it at that level. So I may make some modifications in a person's diet. I may recommend specific natural remedies that work to you know, address the the actual causation of what the issue is. And in a very short period of time, that patient will, you know, have a normal blood sugar or a normal cholesterol. I mean, I've had patients that have come in to see me specifically because their doctor told them they, they needed to be on a statin drug because their cholesterol was like 100 points above normal. And they were smart enough to know of the side effects of all drugs, but specifically for statins, two of the most important side effects are muscle weakness and memory loss. And I actually had a patient come to me in his 50s one day with his wife, and I asked them why they were here. And his wife said, well, my husband has early dementia, uh, early Alzheimer's disease. And I said, well, tell me what medications he's been on. And she said to me, he's been on statin drugs for the last 18 years. And I said, well, there's your answer right there. We immediately need to stop the statin drugs and replace it with something that's going to treat the underlying cause of the cholesterol. And when I did that, it was amazing. And in such a short period of time, his memory came back. 
Wow, that's incredible. I mean, you know, that pharmaceutical medication is not the answer. And, and, you know, if you know the history of medicine, you'll understand how this whole thing happened, unfortunately. Every physician in the United States up to 1930 was a homeopath. And actually, Merck Pharmaceuticals, which is now Merck Pharmaceuticals, back in the 1800s and early 1900s, was a homeopathic pharmacy until David Rockefeller came along and took a trip to Germany, visited Bayer Pharmaceuticals, and they said, you know, there's another way that you can utilize petroleum, because he was an oil baron, and petroleum is one of the side products of oil. We are now turning petroleum products into what we call pharmaceutical medication. And he was like, oh my God, what a, what a great idea. I can not only make money on gas and oil, but now I have something to utilize, you know, the products I have. And he went back to the States and literally went to all the medical schools and said, if you're willing to give up homeopathy and replace it with these patent medicines, I will give you all of these, you know, millions of dollars to do research in your medical school. And every medical school went for the money and got rid of, you know, the homeopathy aspect. As a matter of fact, what I find really interesting is that uh, a number of years ago, Merck sent out the Merck manual, which is the which is the manual that most doctors have in their office. It's the way of treating. It's it's sort of a a manual of prescribing. You look up any particular disease, and it will tell you how to treat. The common you know everyday Merck manual today will give you the list of pharmaceuticals. But back in the original Merck manuals, and they did send it out as a gift to everybody on the hundredth anniversary. You see every disease which are the same diseases we're treating today, but the but the recommendations in the Merck manual were all homeopathic remedies back then. Wow. So they basically, you know, threw it all out, you know, and just went for the money aspect. And the whole idea of big pharma these days controlling medicine is so true because that's what David Rockefeller, unfortunately, you know, shifted. But now people are really realizing, and I think a lot of it happened during the, the COVID pandemic, when people weren't able to see their docs in person, many of them, and there was no real treatment for, for COVID, but they started to understand that there has to be something else, something better. And my whole you know, tagline for, for, for this whole concept is that self-care is the new healthcare. So people have to start to learn to take responsibility for their own health back into their own hands. And so using various forms of frequency medicine is an easy way for the average person to begin to rebalance their body and deal with their chronic situations using frequencies as opposed to pharmaceutical medication. Completely. And when you realize the history and how corrupt it is and that there's even a statue of Hahnemann in Washington, D.C., I think a lot of our history has been lost. But thank goodness, you know, people are becoming more aware again. And I'll tell um, you a brief little story here. So Hahnemann Medical School, it was one of the big medical schools in Philadelphia. So I trained at the University of uh, Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. I actually practiced there for 17 years before I moved out here in the early 90s to Los Angeles. And uh, I had heard there was a rumor that in the charter for the Hahnemann Medical School, they had to keep a room like a almost like a mini museum because they had all of Hahnemann's original remedies and books wow. and notes in this medical school. And so I contacted the, the school and I said, I wanted a tour uh, of, of Hahnemann's you know, equipment, et cetera. And what was really interesting is that when, when I, somebody escorted us to this place, it was just a, an unmarked door to a room, literally unmarked, just a number. And you yeah. open it up and there's this huge room there with all of Hahnemann's books and, and his repertories and his remedies. And I mean, it was the most amazing thing to see because as you know, Philadelphia was like a birthplace of homeopathy in the United States. That's why IE Hahnemann Medical School, most of the big homeopathic medical companies like Waran and some of the others were all headquartered in Philadelphia. And what I found so astounding was the fact that Nobody in the medical at Hahnemann Medical School today actually knew, number one, who Hahnemann was, 
the fact that, that Hahnemann Medical School was a homeopathic medical school, and the fact that in their own school themselves, there was this amazing museum of all of, home, of Hahnemann's original research works, books, remedies. It was mind-blowing to see how they buried it. They didn't want anyone to know. I mean, the, the whole idea that Hahnemann, that Hahnemann Medical School was a homeopathic medical school, one of the top in the country. No, you know, it, it was not to be talked about. But they had to in their charter. It was guaranteed in their charter when they switched over that if anyone ever approached and asked to see that, they had to let them come in and tour that that place. And I went with two very well known homeopaths because they had come to visit me in Philadelphia. One was they, one was from Canada, one was from the East Coast, and I told them about this. So it's just fascinating how how things have changed over mm -hmm. time. And unfortunately, like it is with most things in the world, money controls uh, everything. So, yeah. uh, you know, you can't, you know, can't make a lot of money on homeopathic remedies because they don't cost much to produce and you can get them for, you know, very, very inexpensively. And so therefore the trade-off was pharmaceuticals, which they can charge, as you know, these days, very, very high prices for. Yeah. And uh, God, there's so much thought going around there. But I think the homeopathic community that are listening, you all need to go on a trip to to, to oh, visit okay, and, yes. and to request to see it because, yeah, that makes I mean, me feel so sad that that's. Yeah, it was my, it was it was amazing to see that, that all of this was still there. And yet the public doesn't know. Um, and but you can request to go uh, see it. And it's fascinating. OK, well, I'm sure hopefully. With time, more more homeopaths will start visiting. So, so I'm interested to know about the different. When you say you've got frequency devices, you know, are there different types? Well, I I know the answer to this, but I guess people listening because there's big ones like the time waiver, there's small ones. Like, what do you do in your practice? What can people do at home? What's the difference? Right. So, of course, there are different uh, types of devices, frequency devices, and it depends on you know we, we have. The professional level devices, which are the ones that I work with in my office, and the difference primarily is that the professional devices give give you access to much more medical types of availability with working with uh, frequencies. In other words, you have a database that lists all the various types of chronic diseases and conditions and the specific frequencies that are related to those conditions, and you're able to work with a patient on that level. But of course, we now have portable devices like the Healy, which allows us to, to utilize these devices at home. And, and, you know, my whole quest had been for the last many, many years is to be able to find some type of portable device that I was able to give to a patient when they left my office, because my point of view is that healing is a process. It's not an event. It's not just a one-time situation. So patients usually come to see me, the schedule in my office is they'll come to see me once a month for some form of frequency balancing, and they wouldn't return for another month after that. But what happens on all the other 29 days of the month when they're at home and they're not getting this balancing? So I always dreamed of the time when there could be a device that I could give to a patient when they left the office and say, okay, you've had this balancing with me here, now take this home and use this on a daily basis so that you can continue the process of healing, which is an ongoing process. So that's the beauty of the Healy and why I was so excited about it. The time waiver device is one of the best frequency devices I have uh, come across in all the years that I've been involved in this realm. And it's been since the 1990s that I got interested in uh, frequency medicine and, and sort of jumped from, from the functional medicine to that approach. And what's great, like I said, is the fact that the ability for the average person to do that. Mm -hmm. But what's great for me being a time waiver practitioner, which is ultimately the father of the Healy, it's where the Healy came from. It's a device that's been used for the last 15 plus years in Germany by German medical doctors. I think they, yeah, it's about 2,500 German MDs utilize the time waiver in their practice on a regular basis, is that I get a chance to now be able to customize programs for people. And what I mean by that is that the Healy is a great device that has 144,000 different frequencies that are available to the person to use, but the programs are more generalized and they have to for compliance reasons to be to to you know to, to be that way. But I have the opportunity as a time waiver practitioner 
to be able to then create what I call custom expert custom programs, which allows me to put together a program for a patient that has a specific disease or chronic condition that focuses the frequencies on that particular condition. So when they run their Healy on a um, daily basis, they're able to have a, you know, a very focused type of a treatment. And I'll tell you, it's dramatic, some of the results that I have received. I treat a lot of patients and always have for the last, you know, 40 plus years. I see those patients that have things like Lyme disease, chronic fatigue syndrome, MS, Parkinson's disease, et cetera, et cetera. Ones that have gone to, you know, traditional Western medical doctors and have not gotten results. They find, they wind up in my office and we can get dramatic dramatic results and resolutions within with literally within weeks with some of these cases by working on this level because you know you're basically bringing your body back into a state of resonance and when you have a disease or an imbalance you're out of alignment out of out of balance out of resonance and these frequencies allow us to bring that body into that resonance state of health and it's it's dramatic and more and more people are learning about the whole concept of frequency medicine. And the thing about I love about the Healy is that one of the programs in the Healy happens to be the homeopathy program, which allows, you know, the average person to be able to scan themselves and find out exactly which homeopathic remedies resonate with them at that moment in time, and then deliver, instead of having to take the homeopathic remedy orally, deliver that remedy into their body directly using frequency which is really an amazing, you know, approach. Uh, it's to... amazing for the, just for that, for the homeopathic community. Like that's why I got my Healy. Cause I was like, oh, you know, I know that homeopathy remedies made on machines like Suli, I've got a Suli machine, which is just energy. It just, the remedy just contains the energy because you're just typing in the frequency. So I know, I knew that work, even though I had to have direct experience of the Suli before I believed it for myself. And then, I got the Healy for that, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, really, for what it can do. I'm like, it's almost mind blowing the the potential. You know, the homeopathy alone, it's well, amazing. I mean, the, but actually, the most amazing program of all. I mean, the homeopathy program is great, and I use it all the time, and I recommend it. And let me just say one other thing here, so people out there that don't know about these devices like Time Waver and Healy understand uh, there are many frequency type devices that are out there, but they're not all the same. And what, uh, what really separates the time waiver and the Healy device from all other types of Healy device, frequency devices out there, like, for example, Rife devices or PEMF devices that you may have heard of, is Healy is the only one that contains what, the, what is called a quantum sensor. And so it actually uh, reads the body and you can actually do a scan on your body to determine exactly what is needed at that moment in time. And what is really interesting is to see, for example, five people that are in a room that all have, say, for example, a headache that are running their Heelys. And when you look on, on the screen, you'll notice that even though they're all there being treated for a headache, the Healy has scanned them and has decided that the frequencies are different for each individual person. Mm -hmm. That's because there's no one size fits all. I always say that there's no such thing as cookbook medicine. And everyone is as individual as their fingerprints. And therefore, my work, even in the 70s in functional medicine, was always in the whole concept of biochemical individuality. So Healy is the only device that can actually individualize the frequencies for a person. But besides the homeopathic remedies, and of course, we also have the Bach flowers and some of the other homeopathic remedies, the, the, the program I find the most fascinating of all is the Creative Homeopathy Psyche Program, which I'm sure you've dealt with, you've run. Von Pepler, who is a famous German homeopath, created a set of, of, she didn't really create the remedy, she uses a specific set of, I think it's like 450 different homeopathic remedies that she has connected to various mental and emotional aspects of the body. And when you run this program, what you're basically doing is you're unveiling to the person what their shadow side is. And it's always right on. I mean, I tell, I have to preface it with people before I actually run it on them because it can be a shock to the system to be able to see something that is actually reading for them all of their deep, dark secrets that they've kept hidden, i.e. their shadow side, which is usually from childhood. 
And so we get that ability to immediately see what those are based on the homeopathic remedies. But the beauty of the Healy is that it doesn't just, isn't just able to uncover what that is, but it then is able to send those frequencies back out to the person to reverse that situation. And I don't know of any other device out there that can actually work on that level. And I have to say that, you know, the creator of the Healy and the Time Waver, Marcus Schwenke from Germany, is a quantum physicist. And because of his brilliance, he's been able to come up with all of these correlations and has created a device that's just absolutely amazing and works on all levels, physical, mental, emotional, and even the spiritual level. It is, it is incredible. I want to ask you actually, sorry, in a minute about some of your favorite programs. But before we do that, just taking a step back, when you talk about the time waiver and the type of patients that you treat, do you find there's anything that responds better to frequency that can't be treated or does it depend on the individual or practice? You know, I, 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 the way I have come out of it based on all my years of practice, my whole concept of disease is the fact that what, what I have, and I actually teach courses in this, is that for me, inflammation is the cause of all disease. I mean, you can pretty much track almost every disease out there to some form of an inflammatory response in the body. And then we have to then say, all right, so what's underneath inflammation? And basically what that is, of course, is stress. So stress has been shown to be the biggest trigger of inflammation. So what you wanna really wind up doing is looking at stress. And, and how stress affects the body. And that really will determine, you know, the results that you get. And what the, the beauty of the Healy is, is that we have some programs uh, specifically to stimulate the vagus nerve. So the vagus nerve is one of the largest nerves that runs through the body. And it really uh, deals with the uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system. And what I have found with most people, especially recently, is that everybody is in uh, sympathetic stress. So they're all in fight or flight. And in order to get healing, we really need to move the body into parasympathetic, which is rest and digest and recover. And so one of the base, best things and the quickest ways of doing that is by stimulating the vagus nerve. And of course, with the Healy device, we have a way of doing that. And so I think most people respond best when you treat their stress and, and, that's what I have found. So I always recommend when people are doing whatever programs they're running or whatever else they're doing in their lives and whatever treatments they're doing in their lives, make sure that they somehow find a way of stimulating their vagus nerve and moving their body into parasympathetic as opposed to sympathetic. And it's really interesting because, you know, some of the devices I have in my office allow me to take a lot of different types of measurements of people. And so when a patient first comes in, we run some scans to see what's going on. And one of the things I do, the very first thing I do is I try to assess the level of physical or mental emotional stress somebody has. And I'm able to do that with some of the devices I have. And it actually gives me a number or a percentage. So what I have found was that before COVID, about 20% of patients that came in to see me were under extreme types of mental or emotional stress. Post COVID, it's been 90 to 95%. Wow. So that means that since everyone in the last three years have been under, either if they're not even consciously aware of it, under so much stress, that's ultimately, unless they address it, going to go right into inflammation. And that's going to lead to one of the many types of chronic illnesses or diseases out there. So to me, it's a real basic way of of working with somebody is turning off or switching off that fight or flight mechanism that we're uh, accustomed to in, in our age and time and really getting back into that state of of rest and regenerate and recuperate the body and that's why so many of the techniques like you know yoga and meditation are so important and some of the things that i recommend to my patients to you know release that stress and now mm -hmm. with the advent of having the Healy, I can then say to a person, I also want you to run the vagus nerve stimulation program a couple of times a week before you go to bed so that you can shift your body into that place. That's incredible, isn't it? That percentage. I'm just thinking like, you know, I talk about a bit going off on a tangent. But I talk about it on one of my um, miasms course about like how 
diseases create that energetic imprint for future generations and it's up to us like with covid that whether you were realizing it or not whether you were scared of lockdowns or not or you know that stress that it's going to left if we don't fix it in ourselves that's going to be passed on to to future generations well, I mean, it well. affected us on so many levels of our beings think about it it affected us on the level of financial a lot of people were out of work it it, it affected us on the level of fear just in general, and it affected us on a level of separation. We couldn't connect with family members or people or gather like we used to. And all of that stuff just, you know, started to build up. And I mean, I was really blown away when I, when I because I have had been able to do those measurements for the last 20 years. And I've seen consistent patterns over time. And like I said, approximately 15 to 20% of people that would come into my office, stress was a major component of their illness, whereas now I am literally seeing 85 to 90 percent of when I test people that come in to my office, that stress has still been absorbed in their body. And unless they do something to release it, to shift that, you know, in their system, you know, it's going to just, uh, that's why so many people these days are getting ill, because they're not addressing that, that component. So, Again, frequencies are so wonderful and that it's an easy methodology to be able to address, you know, that whole vagus nerve situation. Yeah. And I, I've used, after listening to you talk about the vagus nerve on other podcasts, I was using it on myself actually at night. And it's funny, I was waking up for a while feeling a bit dizzy and spacey and I wondered if I had it turned up a bit too high because I was like why am I waking up feeling dizzy and then I remembered I went to sleep with the Healy running the vagus nerve simulation. so I don't know if maybe I had it cranked up a bit much but it was definitely obviously doing stuff and I felt I do feel a lot less stressed since I've been using that um, so it's definitely helped I'd like to talk a bit more about some of the um other uh, one or two other programs but then also talk about your expert programs in a bit more detail maybe once we've talked about a couple of other things that you can do with frequency um, devices then actually for those that are unfamiliar the expert programs might make a bit more sense but one of the things that I first ever heard it from was you and it was about scars creating energy blocks and at, like, after I spoke to you before we hit record, I was like, actually, when you explained to me, I was like, that's quite obvious. I'm amazed I haven't sort of come across this before. But yeah, can you talk a bit more about how scars and even tattoos can create? Yes, because sort of uh, basically, as I said earlier, you know, the whole concept of the meridians that run through our bodies, which are basically the, the channels of where energy goes to the different various organ systems. Mm -hmm. If you have a scar, you're basically crossing a meridian line and that when it's like cutting a wire say you have a you know you you have a um uh, a light bulb that's plugged into the wall and you cut the wire and the light goes out because there's no more electricity flowing along the line of the wire to the bulb well the same thing ultimately happens in the body when you have a scar in a certain area and you cross a meridian you're blocking the energy flow to that particular organ and the best way to you know to even think about that in this day and age. And one thing that's really important for me in my practice and one of the things that I ask my patients are if anyone has a root canal in their mouth, because a scar, a root canal is similar to a scar or a tattoo in that you have a blocked flow of energy to an organ. Mo most people don't realize that, you know, the German meridian charts, teeth and meridian charts that you can find online are really fascinating because they show that every tooth in your mouth is connected to a different organ in the body, sort of like how the meridians work. And when you have a root canal in your mouth, you basically have a dead tissue in your mouth that's sending a signal 24 seven to that organ of degeneration. And when you constantly have that signal every single day, 24 seven of degeneration, 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 ultimately you have change in the organ. And i.e. what happens later on is cancer usually results. And it's really funny because just yesterday I was having a meeting with some people here in town and the woman said that she had was somebody that had recovered from breast cancer. She had it about five, six years ago. And I had asked her how she, you know, was able to do that. And interestingly enough, she had found somebody that was working with microcurrent and frequency and that's how she resolved it. And I said, yeah, it's a great way. And I do that in my practice too. And then I said to her, by the way, do you have any root canals in your mouth? 
And she said, yeah, I do, as a matter of fact. I have one. And I said, without you telling me, I'm going to tell you which tooth it's on. And I said, it's on your upper first molar. And she said, yeah, that's exactly where the root canal is. How did you know that? Well, the upper first molar are the breast meridian uh, wow. teeth. So what I find in my practice is women that have breast cancer almost invariably have a root canal on their first molars, their upper first molars. And so what I said to her was, you know, if you don't want to see that cancer returning, the thing you're going to need to do as soon as you're able to is have that tooth extracted. Uh, mm -hmm. Go to a biological dentist, have the tooth extracted, and then replace it. You can replace it with either a bridge or a full ceramic implant, but you must have that tooth removed. And I know for a fact that that is the truth, because when I've worked with patients in my practice and they've not followed that and have not done that, I'll get a call two to three years later saying, you know, I have to come see you again. The cancer has returned. And I'll say, did you ever take the tooth out that I told you? And they say no. And so, you know, here we go again. What is the underlying cause? So it's the same thing, you know, chemo and radiation treat the symptoms of cancer. They don't treat the underlying cause. Some of the underlying causes are root canals and, of course, genetics. Because what I find with patients that have cancer, when I analyze them in my office, many of them show up with a carcinosin miasm, almost invariably. And even if somebody doesn't have it, I ask them, what is their family history of cancer? And they'll say to me, oh, yeah, my father, my grandfather, my uncle. And I say to them, well, you know, genetically, there's almost in a way a programming on the cellular level that if you don't do something about this, ultimately you are at a high risk of developing cancer. And so in, in many cases, I will give the carcinosin miasm to those patients to try to, to, you know, release that energetic imprint on the cells of their body. So they don't automatically, and it's not a fait accompli, it's not like they're going to automatically get cancer because it's in their genetic you know, predisposition. So that's something, again, I found very fascinating is when I've done scans on people and that particular miasm shows up and it totally relates to either their current health condition or a genetic predisposition from a whole bunch of family members that have that. And you can, you know, it, it's great to be able to give that type of uh, advice to a person either preventively or to prevent the cancer from actually returning to the body. So as I, you know, I said to a friend after we left and we were driving home, I said, so I think I saved this woman's life because even mm -hmm. though she felt so confident, the fact that she was told by her doctors that, you know, that she was mm -hmm. cancer free, I knew that there would come a time somewhere in the future where unfortunately she would have to, you know, revisit that whole situation again because she didn't address the underlying cause, which was the root canal truth on that first molar, which is the meridian of the breast. Simple as that. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all all healing really occurs when you when you take a look at the underlying causes. And in many cases, again, what I have found over the years is that it is some form of a black blocked energy, be it from a tooth that has a root canal, from a scar that crosses a meridian, from a tattoo. I mean, all of these things block energy. And the beauty of using a device like the Healy is that it not only delivers frequencies, but it also delivers microcurrent. And what's important to note about that is that to me, the microcurrent is what I call the secret sauce, because for many years, I treated patients with frequencies and I got good results, but it wasn't until I added microcurrent into the whole you know, healing process that I really see quick, dramatic changes. And there's a reason for that, because I like to say that every one of the cells in our body are like mini batteries, and because they are, because there's a cell membrane potential that surrounds the cells of each one of our cells, and it's been measured and registered to be negative 70 millivolts. And as we get exposed to our environment and toxins and foods and bad things that are out there, that, that cell membrane voltage starts to drop. And as it drops lower and lower, we get inflammation in the body, uh, we get edema, then we get you know issues with cell division, and ultimately cancer starts to show up. And of course, when there is no energy left in the cell, we're dead. So mm -hmm. you know, I like to always say that the difference between uh, a high-performance athlete and a person that's on their deathbed is the amount of voltage that they have in their body. 
So, you know, we charge our phones every night when we go to sleep, but what do we do to actually charge our bodies? The bottom line is we don't. And therefore we age and we, you know, get sick. But the whole idea of being able to charge our body on a daily basis and bring that voltage up to that negative 70 millivolts, which is the voltage of a young, healthy cell, we know that there's always a turnover on a regular basis in our body of cells, depending upon the organ. But in an average year, we can get almost a complete turnover of the cells and organs in our body. So why not have a situation where we're always creating young, healthy cells? I always like to tell people that to me, the Healy is the ultimate anti-aging device because not only does it re recharge the cells of your body on a daily basis and bring that level up to the negative 70 millivolts, but at the same time, we also have the frequencies of stem cells that are available as one of the healing programs. And the combination of stem cells and raising that you know potential there, that voltage, is really the answer to anti-aging medicine. And I've always been interested in it myself personally. And, you know, as somebody who's in their 70s, I want nice. to be able to live, you know, the rest of my life really, you know, healthfully and look good. And I think that, you know, having used the Healy over the last, you know, four years consistently on a daily basis and running those stem cell programs and recharging the cells of my body, most patients that come into my office have no idea <laughs> that I am this age. They think I would I'm never have said that. No, no way. And, and that's, you know, I tell them that's one of the reasons why is because I'm doing something on a regular basis to uh, restore the cells, to always continually add new stem cells in my system and make sure that all my organs are healthy. I haven't used that program yet and I'm going to get on it. Which, which of the stem cells? It's called cells? the Bioenergetic Vitalization Program. And it's the one that has all the stem cells of all the, you know, the nerves and the, and the, and the and and every part of the body that's that's in there and of course you can scan yourself on a daily basis to find out which one your body is telling you that you would need and that would be the program that you would run on that basis and so to me you know the, when the healy came into my life it really changed things dramatically for me because i now had a tool that i could offer people that really could do profound things for them in their life in terms of healing and it borrowed from all of those other healing modalities. So we have an ability to do meridian balancing with the Healy, which takes from, from acupuncture. Um, and we are able to work with homeopathy. And we were able to work with all of these other, you know, issues and areas of healing modalities with a simple little, you know, device. It's something that I feel that is that everyone should have in their home. And it's, it's really brilliant. And having been nice. you know, aware of everything that's out there, because I am over the last 20, 25 years, I haven't seen anything out there that really can match it in terms of, of what it does and its you know, abilities and, and, and reliability. No, it's amazing to hear. And can I can I ask you actually one of the most frequently asked questions before I wanted to I've got lots of questions I want to ask, I'm conscious of time, but just one of the most frequently asked questions I get, and this is a huge topic. So it may be that they need to go and do further research, most likely. But how can the how can these frequency devices work on someone that's not even present in the same room? That's well, where people tend well, to lose yeah. it. Like, yeah, like, yeah. I mean, I've always, you know. It's always people, even in the work I do in my office, so because a lot of people can't make it out to Los Angeles and yet they've heard of the you know work through family, friends, et cetera, and they want to work with me. Well, I've always offered remote scans on patients, you know, in my practice. And people have always said, well, how is this possible? You know, I'm not physically there. Uh, I used to say to them, the easiest way I would uh, say to them is, well, when you're driving in your car and you're listening to the radio, you're not attached to the radio station with a wire or something it's you know it's a frequency that's going through the air and you you know turn the station on your radio 98.3 94.6 you're dialing a frequency in and it's that that information is out there but what has been really great is the fact that the nobel prize for physics last year was awarded to two physicists quantum physicists that uncovered the or proved the science of quantum entanglement and what quantum entanglement is, is the fact that you can have two objects 
that are somehow related to one another. And even if they're separated a thousand miles away, if you treat one, you get the reaction in the other one. So there's always a connection out there. And that works in the whole concept of, in quantum physics, what's called the information field. And the information field is the terminology that's used in quantum physics that says that everything in the world is connected. And in quantum physics, the symbol is the blue butterfly. And the reason that the butterfly is the symbol of quantum physics is because there's been an old saying that if a butterfly flaps its wings in Japan, for example, you somehow will uh, feel the effects here in the US, for example. So any little thing that makes a change in the universe affects everything else. So that's that whole concept. And so quantum entanglement is the proof uh, of it. And therefore we can treat people remotely as long as we have enough information about that person so that the frequencies can find that person. And the way we do it in the Healy is that we use you know, as much information as we can. The person's date and place of birth, their current address, their name, their photograph, all of those things are as unique as a fingerprint. And so that information is sent out into the information field where everything is connected and literally finds that person because there's only one person out there that has the name, the date of birth, the place of birth, their photograph, and that's the quantum entanglement piece. So that is how I explain it to patients on how you can treat them remotely with frequencies. And it does work, doesn't it? I think it sounds, unless you kind of have that direct experience, it like it sounds bonkers when you it's, first it's come across. It's not science fiction, but it's science fact. Because I can scan a patient that's, you know, in Europe, for example, on my device. And what shows up for me are all the imbalances and conditions that a person has that they're wanting me to, you know, work with them on. How would I be able to do that if the if it didn't work that way? It's always, I mean, it's 100% accurate. It's not, I mean, I've been doing this for 20 years. I've been doing working with people remotely for, for 20 years. It's never been wrong yet. It's always exactly what's going on with that particular patient and what that patient needs. And so it's 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 a reality. It's again, you know, you have to really take a look at the whole concept of quantum physics to understand how the universe is set up, and it's all done through frequency, energy, and vibration, and the information field where we're all connected to. Yeah, and I think the mainstream thinking is just so rooted in not wrongness but just it's not it's not caught up at all yet with it with this but it's it's growing isn't it there's more awareness yeah, oh, it's definitely growing because there are a lot of people out there that are you know that do seminars and things about the whole concept of 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 quantum physics and how to bring it down like bruce limpton was one of the first people that's really well known out there that's that talks about it greg braden and other people to be able to make people understand you know i think the first book that I read back in the 80s when I was first trying to wrap my head around the whole concept of quantum uh, physics was a book called The Seat of the Soul. I don't know if you've heard of that book, but it's it's an amazing book because it really explains, and, and there's a second one called The Dancing Wu Li Masters. Those two books are really amazing books because they really allow that whole concept of quantum physics where most people really can't wrap their heads around it, but they make it in a conceptualized form that the average person can can understand what it is and, 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 and how that works. And I think more and more people are really beginning to understand that whole concept of, of quantum physics and are starting to realize how you can do something like remote, remote healing on somebody. So mm -hmm. it's no longer a fantasy, it's a reality. So with the information field, one thing that I've heard you talk about is being more psychically aware. Yes. Can you explain so how that happens? I have found that not only for me, but I put it out there when I when I speak live a lot of times. I ask people to, you know, have they noticed that they have become much more what I call psychically aware. In other words, they're able to predict things that happen. They can think about a person and then in the five minutes later that person calls or they see them on the street or you know, getting something in the mail and things of that nature and, and how it's even happened for me. And it's really sped up. So I've always been somebody that's been very tuned in, very much um, 
quote, psychic, you know, my astrologer tends to, says to me, well, of course, you're a Pisces, Moon, and Scorpio, Cancer, Rising, you're a triple water, so of course, of all the signs, you're going to be one of the more psychic people out there, but it's even beyond that. I have found that in the last four or five years that I've been using these devices, specifically the Healy, what it does is when you're running those programs on yourself on a daily basis, it's actually connecting you into the information field. And if the information field is the place where everything is connected, when you're connected there, you know all of that because you're connecting to that field. And that field has all knowledge. And, you know, in the ancient times, it was called the Akashic field. These days, it's called the information field. It's it's the same thing. It goes back, you know, centuries. People knew about that. But we're now, because of, of learning about quantum physics in the last hundred years, we're really understanding how that actually works. Uh, so yes, so when you start to connect with the with the information field, that information becomes available to you on a daily basis, uh, and you'll start to think things about stuff like I do, and I'll start to talk to people about something, and sure enough, 24 to 48 hours, it shows up in the press or in the news, or something is out there about that. It's like, how did I know that? Well, that information is there, you're just yeah. tapping into that field, and it's all about, you know, being able to tap into that field. We all have a bioelectrical field that surrounds us. And it's that our field tapping into the greater field that's out there that, you know, is really important. And, you know, one of the one of my favorite programs, you asked me what, 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 what some of my favorite programs were on the Healy. One of my favorite programs is the Coherence Program, because the Coherence Program was designed by Marcus to specifically create a greater balance in our own bodies between our brains, our minds, and our hearts. And that allows us, by running those programs, to actually connect to other people. I mean, there's another well-known company out there called HeartMath that many people may have heard of that really supports that whole process of coherence and how the fact is when you practice that coherence in yourself, you're better able to connect to other people in the world. And many times, as you know, Marcus will run a will run a meditation like he did about a week ago, where he has everyone from all over the world all running the coherence program at the same time in their Healy's. And because of that, we're all you know connected in even a greater way uh, at that point in time. It, it's incredible, isn't it? I, I am it, it just what what can be done is quite phenomenal. One thing I get asked a lot actually is from people that have specific health issues asking, can I use it for this? Can I use it for that? And one of the things that I always say is that in the EU in particular, it has medical approval for certain health conditions like fibromyalgia and pain, migraines, but outside of what it's been medically approved for, like with homeopathy, you're treating indiv individual, you have to be careful with what can what you say it can it's treat. all about compliance and all about you know every country has their rules and we have the fda in the states and canada has health canada and i'm sure you have your rules with your countries there of what you're legally allowed to say with especially when it involves medical issues and conditions and so the healy was designed purposely because it was being given to you know lay people out there to really work in a more generalized way and by that i mean you know you have access to 144,000 different frequencies and the body does a scan and it it'll give you it's programmed in a way we have 250 different programs that work on various areas of the body but then of course you have patients out there that have specific conditions like i mentioned before somebody has something like lyme disease or epstein barr or 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 parkinson's or alzheimer's what the time waiver allows me to do because it's a medical professional device is it allows me to create what are called custom healy programs so that i get to be able knowing in the being in the field for you know 46 years and tr and working with almost every disease i know what the underlying reasons are for these conditions and i'm able to custom craft a program that I then send to that person's Healy via the cloud. And then they have a program, a specific program for that condition, regardless of what that condition is. And the beauty of that is that the frequencies that are contained in that program are specific for that condition. So you get a much better uh, rate of, of uh, resolution of the condition in a much quicker way, because instead of using more generalized frequencies, you're using the frequencies of that specific 
you know, disease or, or condition that that person has. And so that's why I became a time waiver practitioner, because it really follows all of what I've done in the last 46 years of my practice, which is creating custom programs for patients based on the underlying conditions of what is happening. And I started out in the 70s by doing work with, you know, dietary changes and then recommending homeopathic remedies, Chinese herbal remedies, nutraceuticals. And now that I'm in this space, I'm working more on the frequency range with people. But the results are dramatic and they're quick and they're amazing. And, you know, we have thousands of people that have used the Healy around the world. I think there's three quarters of a million devices that have been sold up to now in the last four years that wow. it's been available. And there is there is a site on Facebook called The Frequency Experience, which is a site of people that have used Healy with pretty much every particular condition that you can imagine, talking from their own personal experience about how it's resolved their issue. And when you look at that, you see that it's really worked for so many, so many imbalances, so many conditions. Uh, and it's, it's really great that it's available and thank you you know because <laughs> that's the great thing about being alive right now is that we get to get the benefits of we're living in a technological era with computers and stuff uh, and we get to do things that we couldn't do you know 20 30 years ago totally totally and for people so with your with these custom programs if people are listening and they're interested is there can they reach out to you? Is there certain things that, can it be anything or are there certain yeah, anything. things? That, yes, pretty uh, much any, uh, any condition. The, the database of the time waiver allows me to pretty much work with any imbalance or condition that a person has on, on all levels. And then, like I said, I, I, with my knowledge of, you know, having treated with the tens of thousands of patients that I have treated in the last 46 years, I know it works and doesn't. And so I'm able to custom create these particular programs based on that person's situation and and they you know if anyone is interested they can just email me my email address is healy doc steve that's h-e-a-l-y d-o-c s-t-e-v-e at gmail.com i'd be more than happy to let them know what is involved in that that's and, amazing and I'll, you know I'll i love it a... because it allows me to to help people all over the world that can't necessarily get to see me in person and get a, a time waiver treatment in person. I feel like this way, this allows me to actually take my, you know, knowledge and, and of what I know and give it out to people out there, regardless of where they are. And that's what's so amazing about the technological advances of the Healy. Everything is done through the cloud. It's a German medical cloud. And so each person that has a Healy, it generates a random chain of numbers that they send to me and when I type in those numbers I into the time waiver, it actually then sends the program directly to their healing. And then they can use that program to resolve the issue until that issue is resolved. That's incredible, isn't it? And I think that's the thing, is, although we can people can often moan about technology and the advancement of technology, actually, if we embrace it for things like the age of information, we wouldn't be able to do this without technology and yeah, what and, it and can so, do for and, us. And what's something that's really interesting to me is the fact that you know, no, not many people knew until recently who Nikola Tesla was, okay? And he's probably one of the most important scientists of the, he and Einstein were probably two of the most important scientists of the 20th century, uh, but he never got his due or he never got his credit. I have to, you know, thank Elon Musk for naming the the car, uh, you know, the Tesla. Uh, I don't know how prevalent it is in Europe, but I'll tell you, in Los Angeles, every other car is a Tesla. Oh, Literally. here as well. Yeah, it's, it's funny, right. but every other car is a Tesla. And the thing that I love about it is the fact that why did he name that car the Tesla? There was a reason. I looked into it because I wanted to know, why did Elon Musk name the car the Tesla? And what I found out was an out, out, was unbelievable. He literally took the blueprints that Tesla created in the 1920s of an electrical motor and used the exact blueprints from 100 years ago into the Teslas that people drive today. So it's funny how his technology has advanced, and yet he went back 100 years to to use that, uh, you know, those blueprints. And that just shows how Tesla was so advanced for his mm -hmm. time. And he's really the person that's behind our cell phones. He's beh behind so many things in the realm of, of frequency medicine, 
the realm of just technological, you know, frequency types of systems that we use today. And I'm really happy in a way that his name has gotten so much more awareness these days because he, if you if you check into his bio and you remember the history, he really is the father of all of this modern medicine that we're doing today. And of course, you know, Einstein in his time also was somebody that really was focused on this. And his famous quote is the future of medicine is frequency medicine. That's a direct mm -hmm. quote from, from Einstein. So we have two of the most unbelievably brilliant minds on the planet have both kind of directed us to look in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. And they were right. And now quantum physics is just proving now to this day a lot of the stuff that they came up with 100 years ago. And to me, that's the paradigm shift. That's how medicine is now shifting back to where it was in the beginning. We are energy beings. We're not biochemical. And in order to treat and resolve issues, like treats like, like homeopathy te teaches us. So therefore, we must treat the body with energy, frequency, and vibration. And we must recharge the cells of our body on a daily basis and use those frequencies that bring our bodies back into a state of resonance and balance. And that, to me, is the underlying. If you understand that, then you have the key to health. Oh, well, that is a fantastic note, I think, to end on. Just, yes, and it gives me such optimism for the future i think the health situation is in a dire state but there is hope and yeah a way forward so thank god thank god Absolutely. yes i am you know i really am so thankful for marcus in terms of his vision to heal the planet and you know his vision is as we both know to have one of these devices in every home you know on the planet so people have the opportunity to self-heal and not always, you know, have to run to their practitioner every time, you know, something shows up, but to keep the body in balance on a regular basis. I mean, starting in the 70s, I was one of the few people that was working the whole concept of, you know, prevention is the best mm -hmm. way to treat the body because it's easier to prevent a disease than to treat a disease after it already manifests. And so the, the you know, the, the beauty of the Healy is that it allows us to not only work to deal with some of the issues we have. But if you use your Healy on a daily basis, it's the best preventative medicine out there. And what's so great too, and I'm going to talk to all the, the animal lovers out there, myself included, I use it on my dog all the time because there's situations that occur, you know, around, you know, in the States, we have July 4th and there's all these fireworks and things of like that. And most animals are, are deathly afraid of loud noises and stuff. And it used to be that when before I before Healy, he would be like shaking and running into the closet and hiding for like two days when this was happening. And now what I do is I I run the Healy, I run the Bach flower essences on the Healy, and I clip it to his collar and I just allow that to run. And it's he's like a changed dog, uh, you know, during that time. So we actually have a way of treating animals. We have specific animal programs. We actually even have what's called the animal harness or the animal kit which allows us to deliver microcurrent into our animals. It's easy with a human because, you know, you have you can put a, you know, the the mm -hmm. electrode bracelet and we're touching skin, but with an animal that's covered with fur, it's hard to get that contact. Well, Healy has developed a way and made special animal electrodes so you can treat dogs and cats and horses and all types of animals. And there's many animal lovers out there. And so I like to always say that's not just for you. It's also for your for your uh, furry friend. I'm glad you brought that up actually, because my dog who's very old had heart failure a few weeks ago and um, I had to take it to the emergency vet and she was put in the oxygen tank and I thought it was, they said, prepare to say goodbye, you know, don't think we can save her. And I, it was awful, there's nothing I could do. I thought, well, I'm gonna run the Healy remotely on her. And it came up with um, breath of life because her lungs were so full of fluid from the heart failure. And then I was doing the bark scan, it kept coming up with fear of death and all the really fearful remedies. And she pulled through and she's doing really well. So, and I'm still running the Healy on her, but yeah, I, I could no, do I nothing. Highly recommend, I highly recommend for you and everyone else. Yes, it's great to do that and send the frequencies, but I really suggest that you use the microcurrent because mm -hmm. again, frequencies are amazing. But what I have personally found and have seen is that when you add the microcurrent to the frequencies, it, it really amplifies the results. 
that that people get not only with themselves but with their animals. My dog had a an ACL injury a number of years ago, and when I took him to the vet, he, she did an X-ray and said to me, "Well, you know, I think we're going to have to do surgery on his left leg because of this injury." And I and she said, "But I know you have a lot of different devices in your practice, so why don't you you know try something?" And sure enough, I had the animal harness and I hooked him up to it and started running the frequencies for those joints, but also the microcurrent. And when I brought him back a couple of months later for a recheck, she looked and said, well, it's healed. No surgery nice. needed. And I know it was the microcurrent that really was the piece that really made that happen. So I okay. encourage people to not only use the Healy for the frequencies, but to also use it with the microcurrent. Very so, good advice. I'll tell you to get the animal kit. I will. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to do it as soon as I finish recording this. I need to go to a meeting to do it. Right. So for people that want to get in touch, you don't have you, a, a big social media presence. You do, but not like loads. So how do people get in touch? How's the best well, way? Well, like I said, email is the best way. HealyDocSteve at, at gmail.com. And there's a reason why I don't have, a, you know, like a website or a presence of that. That was done by design, interestingly enough. Because what was happening was, is that people were searching for the kind of stuff that I do and were finding me and, and, and wanting to, you know, come in as a patient. And I found that what I wound up doing with them is the first 45 minutes to an hour of a session, just explaining like all the stuff that I talked about today. And we never got a chance to actually do the work. And mm -hmm. so what I decided a number of years back is to only accept patients physical patients that come to see me through referral, some of a referral doc only. So in other words, they have to be referred by either another doctor that they're seeing that knows me or somebody that's been a patient of mine, because it just allows me to, to really have a person that's, that knows somebody that's gotten the results they've gotten. So when they come in, they're ready to go rather mm -hmm. than to sit there with a person and to have to prove to them that frequencies work or things of that work. So that's why I keep my you know, media presence a little low because I want only people connecting with me, at least in my practice, that are that have the experience of either knowing somebody or being referred by another doctor to do that. But in terms of the Healy work, that's where most of my, you know, social media presence has been up to now. And then I do a lot of these Zooms for a lot of different groups out there. And, uh, and then, of course, the custom programs where I'm always willing to work with anybody around the world that has a specific condition that they want to resolve using the healing. So again, best way to reach me is direct through email. And I'm out there. If you search me, you'll see that I'm out there on many, many different <laughs> Zoom type calls, YouTube, things of that nature too. Oh, amazing. Thank you so much. It's been such a pleasure to have you on and people are really going to benefit from you and just the work that you're doing. It's absolutely incredible. So and really thank appreciate you. Thanks for inviting me. It's been a pleasure here. And, you know, I just really love to teach. I actually travel around. I, you know, Healy has me as their main educator and I travel around. I was just in uh, Toronto, Canada two weeks ago teaching these concepts. I think the more I'm out there, you know, sharing about about this whole process about the body about the whole electrical being about the fact that our, our cells are batteries i mean the more i bring this awareness out there to as many people people start to wake up and understand that really this is the way to go in terms mm -hmm. of of healing and they don't have to be tied into the old approach of being a chronic patient so so it's it's my joy to be able to put this this work out there and this information out there because the more people that know about it the more that information spreads and i think like I said, einstein said the future of medicine is frequency medicine and it is it certainly is oh well, thank you so much it's been really yeah, lovely welcome. to connect thank okay. you take care